This home was originally built in 1939 uh, by Miss Thomas. Um, it's got a sister home over in Williamsburg with it. Um, the stone that was made with the house is similar to the ones you see at Virginia Tech that were trained over here. Um, and, and she owned it for a long time. So the house has been around for quite some time. What we're trying to do uh, since we've purchased the place is everything. Um, weddings mainly, um, uh, bed and breakfast, hotel, we do concerts, uh, graduation parties, retirement parties, retreats, corporate things. We try to host as much of a broad spectrum of events as we possibly can. People can come in, like right now, it's, it's big to come in and rent a room to rent the house for people who are out of town or coming in for the Virginia Tech games. They want to come in, they want to stay at a nice place, they want to have a nice breakfast, and they want to be able to get up and go have fun at the Tech game and then come back whenever they please and, and do whatever they want, you know, as far as hanging out in the house and or having maybe after parties or before parties, pre-tailgate, that kind of stuff. So we do get those. We do get a lot of people who just want to spend the night somewhere that's not a hotel. You know, that's a little bit nicer, a little bit more upscale, caters more to them. It's not, you know, here's your key and, and see you later. It's a, here's your key, you know, can it help you with anything? Can I take you somewhere? Do you need me to pick you up? You know, do you want breakfast? Do you want us to go get some food for you? That kind of stuff. So we try to make it a little bit different than your normal hotel experience. I think what sets us apart is that we can do a, a lot of events, um, but really what separates us apart is our location because we are right in the middle of all the restaurants, all the grocery stores, all the things that people need when they go to a bed and breakfast. Sometimes they may not get it at another venue. You know, if the wedding party is here and, and something happens, there's a you know problem with the, the dress or what we can pop right down to Walmart and, and grab something we need to, to fix it. So everything you, you're getting everything right in the middle with very little travel. Well Pulaski County has come a long way from when I was a kid. I mean right now they're very aggressive as far as doing a lot more in tourism, doing a lot more in advertising, doing a lot more in revitalizing and development of the area, which is great for the, the entire community, not just the New River Valley. So the, the advantage that we have being in Pulaski County and in Fairlawn is that we can tie into that. So where you may find other wedding venues where you could have weddings or receptions or things of that nature, you're not gonna find one like this, which is 20 feet from all the restaurants in town or grocery stores or whatever you may need, um, Walmarts, things of that nature. It's all right here. And that's thanks in part to Pulaski County and Fairlawn and the city of Rafford and just all everything that's been going on as far as development over the past few years. We really want the customers to, or customers and guests to feel like when they walk out of here, they kind of stayed at home. It just looked different, you know, and we want to treat everybody like that. I'm, I'm all the time texting everybody if they're up in their room saying, can I get you something? Do you need me to bring anything or that kind of stuff? So we really want to make them sure that they're, they really feel welcome, not only in Nesselrod, but in Pulaski County and, and the surrounding area.